Today in your amazing brain, we looked at headaches. Well, today we are talking about concussions. According to the Centers for Disease Control, nearly 4 million concussions happen from sports and recreational activities every year in the U.S., but only a fraction go diagnosed. Good for you, Tasa Rachin joins us with more. You're right. Hi, Kim and Don. Well, whether you call it a concussion or a traumatic brain injury, no two head injuries are alike, and that's why the experts at Intermountain Medical Center Neurosciences Institute tailor each treatment plan to the patient's needs. She T-boned me, hit the car about 40 miles an hour. 34-year-old Amelia Wilcox of Holiday injured her wrist in that accident seven months ago, but didn't know she had also suffered a severe concussion. I was just really confused. What she did know was that her brain wasn't working as it used to. It got really scary. I was having a hard time talking and forming sentences. I would even be going to make my kids dinner, and I would walk into the hall to the pantry and I would just stand there and be like, I don't remember what I was doing. She never hit her head in the accident and all of her brain scans came back normal. This is really a chemical change in the brain. These are things that we can't see on imaging like this. Hello there. When Amelia came to see Dr. Kara Reddy at Intermountain Medical Center Neurosciences Institute, the diagnosis was clear. Thumb out in front of you. Keep your eyes on your thumb, turn your head from side to side. A concussion is a traumatic brain injury that results when there is rotation or stretch to the cells in the brain. And that injury causes there to be a chemical imbalance. Besides car accidents, common causes of traumatic brain injury include falls, playground accidents, explosions, and sports. Even when people have had a direct hit to the body, for instance in football, uh, where that force is then transmitted through the body to the neck and then to the brain, which causes rotation uh, and the brain moving within the inside of the skull. Signs and symptoms may not be noticeable right away, but if the headaches, dizziness, confusion, and nausea persists, you should see a doctor. A concussion does not require someone to hit their head or even lose consciousness. And I think those are two things that confuse people sometimes. So I came up with the idea to bring corporate massage into the Amelia office. still runs her multi-million dollar business, but had to scale back. I haven't been able to do any speaking engagements since the car accident at all. Uh, because being in a room full of tons of people with light, it also means the chores pile up. When you only have so much energy and you have to make a choice on what you're going to spend that on, things like the laundry and the dishes just start to pile up. Go ahead and close your eyes. With continued individualized care at Intermountain Medical Center, Amelia is slowly getting back on track. I've just been able to start cooking like once to twice a week, and I love to cook. It's a new normal and a struggle every day. I'm a conquer the world kind of girl, and so to be like, oh, I gotta take it easy and just like rest and don't do more than one major activity in a day kills me. I think in the long term, Amelia's gonna do really well. Well, symptoms include and can last for days, weeks, and in Amelia's case, months and sometimes years. In the studio, Sarachin, good for Utah.